It's finally here. Are you ready? Hello everyone, it's me Serena. Thank you so much for joining me today. Finally, I have a Walmart spring preview video for you guys. Yes, I know it's February, it's cold. Spring is still weeks away, but as you know, these things sell out quickly. And in some cases, some of the items are already sold out and I'm sorry. I will tell you which ones they are and in which colors. But that's why you need to follow me on LTK and on Instagram because as soon as I get these things in, I post them on LTK, I share it on Instagram, and that way you can shop before things get picked over or sold out. So I encourage you to do that because it takes time to film a YouTube video, produce it, edit it, do all the things that are required to put out these videos. And you know, that's precious time that you're losing in shopping and getting the best selection on things. So make sure you're following me over on like to know it that way you can save your favorites you can shop items there right beneath the post just tap on them it takes you straight to the website super easy first outfit today is this pink cardigan from free assembly that you see me wearing here and i'm wearing this cardigan in a size small i decided to just put it on over a white tank and white jeans just to let the cardigan really shine and the tank is from nordstrom the jeans are from j crew and the sandals are from dream pairs but like i said everything will be linked down in the description and i'm not going to go through that whole Whole spiel about how to find the description because I've made a YouTube short that shows you how to do it and I'm gonna link that for you down in a pinned comment so if you're having trouble finding the description just look at that pinned comment under the video and there will be a link to my short video that shows you in less than 60 seconds how to find it this cardigan I would say it runs true to size to maybe slightly big it's fitting me pretty well through the body and yes you can button it up and wear it like a top or wear it over something like I have here but the sleeves are a little bit big they're a little bit big and a little bit long but that's no <laughs> nothing new for me because I'm 5'2 and sleeves are often too long for me but this cardigan has really pretty scalloped edging around the cuffs and around the collar here so I would hate to roll up the sleeves because that's going to hide that pretty detail so I would just scrunch the sleeves if they're too long for you. And these buttons, one thing that kind of gets on my nerves <laughs> about this cardigan, I'm, I always tell it like it is here on my channel. The cardigan is a mid weight, light to mid weight. And these buttons just kind of, you see, if you don't have them buttoned up, like you're wearing it as a top, if it's open, they just kind of flop over. And that may not be a big deal to you, but I don't know, I don't like that. See how it's pulling down? It's pulling down on the cardigan. So I think it would look better if you wore it buttoned together. Now, if the sweater was a little bit more substantial material, these buttons wouldn't be drooping like that, I don't think. But anyway, that's just a little nitpick picky thing that I noticed. And Free Assembly has a matching little shell that, to go with these sweaters, but the sizing discrepancies among the Free Assembly pieces is nuts. So this is a small, I could have gotten away with an extra small in the cardigan, but this little pink shell that matches it, this is a small and it would be tight on my 10 year old son. <laughs> Okay, it is so tiny and yes, it's ribbed and it's stretchy, but I didn't even show it to you I tried it on and it was ridiculous looking so definitely size up if you're getting the shell to go with the cardigan and Sadly the pink color is sold out But the white the yellow and the navy are all in stock as of today If there's anything else already out of stock I will let you know in this video, but please don't leave a comment saying out of stock out of stock. I can't do anything about that, okay? I'm not affiliated with Walmart in any way, shape, or form. I bring a lot of their videos to you guys, or I do a lot of videos featuring their items because they do have some cute things at affordable prices, and I know you guys like that, but I have zero control over 
their stock issues. All I can say is maybe add it to your favorites, which you can do online on the Walmart app or online. You can save it to your favorites and then you'll get notified if they restock it. So that's my advice on that. So cute cardigan execution could be better. In this next look, I basically got on the same outfit. I just swapped out the cardigan for the pink scoop faux leather moto jacket. You guys know I love these. This is the fourth one <laughs> I have now. And this pink color is absolutely gorgeous. But they came out this spring with a pink and also kind of a buff pale tan color that's also pretty. This is going to be great with all your spring outfits with jeans, overdresses, you name it. And of course they still have black and purple and some other colors, but I could not resist the pink. You guys know I love it. And I got some questions. Um, I showed this on my LTK on the community tab here on YouTube and on Instagram the minute, the day I received it because I knew that it was going to sell out. So I posted it there and a lot of you guys have loved it because because a ton of you have bought it. So that's great. But I received some comments asking about the fishy smell. And yes, some of the faux leather can have a fishy smell, but this pink jacket for whatever reason did not. And uh, my other jackets like this that did come with that kind of fishy smell, that smell goes away after it, you get it out of that plastic bag and hang it up, it airs out and that smell goes away. And the pink one, mine didn't have it at all to begin with. So don't worry about that. It does go away. Another thing that I get questions or comments about a lot is people will say, where do you find these cute things at Walmart? Why my Walmart never has this stuff? Well, mine doesn't either. <laughs> I order this stuff online. Very few Walmarts have the scoop, the free assembly, the Sophia. You know, most small town Walmarts do not carry these brands. Some carry Sophia Vergara, but even if they do, it's a very tiny limited selection. It's not the full availability of the entire line that you can find on the Walmart website or on the app. Same with free assembly and scoop. Now, one of my local Walmarts does carry free assembly, but again, they don't carry the entire product line in the store and none of my local stores carries scoops. So I order this online. That's why I provide you with those links down in the description. So you can go down and find what you're looking for. Click on it, it's gonna take you straight to the website. And with Walmart, you get free shipping on orders over $35. Now it doesn't have to be all clothing or clothing related. You can put groceries on there or paper towels or whatever it is, just as long as your order is over $35 dollars it's free shipping and the return shipping if something doesn't work out is free also you can either drop it off at the store or take it to FedEx and drop it off and the instructions on that are easy on the Walmart website so don't be afraid to order from Walmart because you can get free shipping, free returns, and the return process is very easy. You guys know that I never met a navy stripe that I didn't like, so I had to order this boxy cotton sweater from Free Assembly. This is cotton shaker knit, such nice quality for the money. It's $26 and it's got these buttons on the shoulder that are functional. You can actually unbutton those to make it easier to pull it on and off over your head, which is great. And I'm wearing it with the same white jeans and some pink loafers from Amazon. So I found these on Amazon and I got the pink because I had a pair of pink loafers years ago and I always got such comments when I wore them. And you know, this was years and years ago. And when I saw that these came in a pink, I had to have them. But if you don't want pink loafers, they come in all kinds of neutrals and about 15 different colors and they're very affordable and they're soft. They're not real leather. They're faux leather, but they're very soft and pliable and comfortable. Now this free assembly sweater, it's a small, but it runs big. And in hindsight, I should have gotten it in an extra small because it's made rather boxy. It is really wide. So it is making me look wide, even with a front tuck. So I should have gotten the extra small. Again, free assembly, inconsistent sizing gets on my nerves. <laughs> but like I said, it's only $26 for a nice 
quality cotton sweater and it comes in some solids if you don't like horizontal stripes. Now here's another striped sweater. This one is by Time and True and it's the same but it's different. It's different in that the stripes are not so wide and it's cut more slim. It's closer to the body so you don't get that oversized boxy look and it's a little bit longer. It's got the slits on the sides. You can give it a little front tuck but it looks nice worn out also. And this sweater you can see it is not giving that wide effect that the boxy cropped one from Free Assembly did because it's because of the width of the stripes and it's because it's cut closer to your body. But this sweater is made out of 100% polyester and I did notice while wearing it that I started to feel kind of hot because that polyester was trapping all the heat in. So pick <laughs> pick your poison, either a cotton sweater that's kind of boxy and wide or a more flattering sweater that is polyester and it's going to make you hot, you know, choose your battle, I guess. But if I had to pick one, I think I would choose the Time and True one and it is just $16.98. Y'all, I need your help. I am getting so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers on my channel and that has been a long standing goal of mine since I started and I can't believe I'm this close. So if you are not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button. I would be so grateful. And that way you won't miss out on any new content that I post here on Style with Serena. Okay, this next outfit has one of my favorite items from this entire haul, and it is this cropped utility jacket from Free Assembly. I'm wearing this in a size small, and I think it fits. You know, it's a little bit oversized, but it's made to be that way. But it's not so oversized that I feel like I should have gotten it in an extra small. And I think it is the perfect companion to some long wide leg jeans. You know, these are so hot right now, the wide leg look, and this jacket just sets them off perfectly. Now the jeans are not Walmart. These are from White House Black Market, and I'm wearing them in a size six petite. I will link them though, along with everything else down in the description. And I just wore a white tank again under the jacket and put on a cognac belt, belt is from Target, and booties. These booties are by Salmon Lee. I got them from Walmart online last fall. I don't know if they're still available, but I will link them for you anyway. This next look is really gorgeous. It is a workwear look, or you could wear it to church or to a wedding or to a shower, any kind of spring function that you could wear a dress to. I think that you could wear this pantsuit too, depending on what accessories and shoes and whatnot you put with it. And that is this suit from Scoop. I'm calling it a suit, but it is sold separately, the jacket and the pants. I'm wearing a size small in the blazer and a size six in the pants. The blazer is perfectly oversized. It's longer, but it's not too big and, you know, silly looking. I'm wearing a small and I think that's the correct size. It doesn't have a button or any kind of closure in front. It just comes together. And then it has these pre-scrunched sleeves. So, so that is great for someone like me who is petite and has problems with sleeves being too long on jackets. You won't have that problem with this one. And then the pants, the pants, I would say these run a little bit snug. I am between, I either wear a four or a six in pants depending on the brand. And I got these in a six and they are pretty snug around the tummy and the waist. I mean, I'm able to button them and all that, but I don't have any spare room. So you might want to size up in the pants. And they are a nice kind of a wide bootleg cut on the pants. The inseam on them is 32 inches, so I had to put on some heels. But with these pants and some heels, it really makes your legs look a mile long. I mean, I look much taller than my five foot two frame in this outfit. And that's what these kind of pants can do for you. And I decided to punctuate this color with some black. I went with a black thin belt, some black pumps, and this black bag from J. Crew. And I will link all this. And I have a dupe for this J. Crew bag that I found on Amazon. I'll link that for you down in the description. So this next look was kind of a fail for me. And um, I actually 
actually saw these pants in store. Uh, the Walmarts around here carry Sofia Vergara, some of her pieces. And I saw these pants and I thought, oh, these are cute. But I could tell that the small was very generously sized. So I looked at this extra small and I thought, oh, that looks like I can wear it. And I can. But the problem with these pants is for me, all the gathering at the waist. That is causing this poofiness and kind of bunching here in the front in my tummy area. And I do not need any extra <laughs> volume in the tummy area. So I just do not care for the way they fit on me. They do look better when you top it off with a jacket. And this is another one of my Scoop Moto jackets. This one is from last year and it's a faux suede instead of a faux leather. And I just put it on because I thought the pink would be fun, but black, light pink, any color would, would work. But the pants, maybe it's just my body, but my daughter put these on and she looked adorable in them. But she's a little bit smaller than me and she has a tiny waist and fuller hips like I used to have. <laughs> and they were adorable on her, but me with my body and the shape that it is right now, these just were not great on me. So this is gonna be a pass. If you want to see daily content from me, be sure you're following me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course, the Like to Know It app. I post everything first on Like to Know It, and then to the other platforms. And that's usually the first place I post it before I ever get around to filming the YouTube video. So if you want first dibs on these items before they sell out, be sure you're following me on Like to Know It, Instagram, and Facebook. This next look is a hit and a miss. It's this white and pink striped balloon sleeve tee from Free Assembly and this free assembly denim midi skirt. The midi skirt <laughs> came on the scene, you know, last year, big time. And I wasn't a fan, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. I should try it. I might like it, but after trying it, I don't like it. <laughs> and maybe it's just this one. There may be another brand and another fit out there that I like better, but based on this one, I don't like the look of it on me. Now, that's not to say that you may not like it and it may be very flattering on you. This is just my opinion about me. I'm wearing this skirt in a size six. And one good thing I'll say about it, it has a nice sized walking slit in it, but it's not so high that, you know, you feel like you're about to flash the world or anything. It's a good walking slit for the skirt. Now the T is cute. It's got these, you know, kind of exaggerated puffy sleeves and the raglan, you know, style of the sleeves. But it is, again, cut kind of boxy and wide. So I really think it's going to look best tucked in or at least with a front tuck to avoid that boxy wide look. But it's nice, 100% cotton, very comfortable. And the shoes I'm wearing are from Time and True. I actually got these last spring, but they brought them back this year. They've just updated the style just a little bit. But um, these are very comfortable and a nice height of the heel and in this nude color they're going to go with everything in your spring wardrobe. So last year the cargo trend came back like really strong with all the resurgence of the 90s styles you know and we started seeing you know cargo jeans, cargo joggers, cargo pants, shorts, cargo everything and that is carrying into 2024 as well. So I was excited to try these cargo bootcut jeans from Sofia Vergara and I do like these jeans. I'm wearing them in a size six. They are the Marisol bootcut cargo jeans. And I always size up in Sofia Vergara jeans because I do find that they run pretty snug. So I get a size six and that usually works for me, except for in those boyfriend or girlfriend fits. Those are looser. So I would go with my regular size four in those. But these are a size six and they do have stretch, but I'll say the thighs on these jeans are cut really slim. And now that works to your benefit because it really lengthens your legs and makes them look long and lean, especially with this small boot cut at the bottom. I really like the fit of these and I think it's flattering, but 
If you are someone who carries a lot of extra weight in your thighs and hips, but especially thighs, I don't know that even sizing up is going to cut it in these jeans. It's just the way they're made. I don't know why they made the thighs qu quite as tight as they did, but just so you know that. Definitely size up one and then it's just gonna be a matter of preference because they do stretch, but they are a very slim, snug fit down through the legs. And with these jeans, I'm wearing just a simple black tee and the black scoop scuba knit blazer that I've had for a while. I love these, this blazer. It is so nice to throw on, it's so comfortable. And I have just ordered it in two more colors while they have them stocked for spring. So if you're interested in some of the spring colors, order one now, <laughs> right now, before they are sold out. And no, I've never seen these in any store anywhere around me. So definitely order this online and I would stick to your normal size. I don't know if I've shown you guys this necklace that I'm wearing before, but it is from Victoria Emerson. And I just love to wear this with black or denim or white because it's got the silver beads, it's got the gold little coin, and it's got turquoise. So there's a lot going on <laughs> in the necklace. So when you wear it with something simple, like all black or white, it just stands out and is a nice little touch. And since it's got the mixed metal in the necklace, you know, you can wear your other jewelry with it. And no matter if you're wearing silver toned or gold, it's gonna match. So I really love this little necklace. I think it's a nice, unique piece. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite look was from today's video. And if you're gonna be trying any of these new spring Walmart items. Thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.